Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual here with Howard Spumberg from BAM's East Region Public Finance Group talking about the upcoming sale of $178 million of customer facility charge senior lien refunding bonds by the City of Chicago. The bonds are refinancing uh, bonds originally sold in 2013 to finance a consolidated rental car facility and improvement to the airport transit system at O'Hare International Airport. Barclays is the underwriter and the bonds will carry a double A rating and a stable outlook from S&P Global Ratings due to Build America Mutual guarantee. Howard, thanks for taking some time to talk about the transaction today. So let's start at the higher level. What are the revenue streams that will repay these bonds? Well, there are two primary pledge revenue sources, customer facility charges, or CFCs, and facility rent. CFCs are paid directly by the renters to the rental car companies. The city sets the rate of the CFC, which is currently $8 per day. Facility rent is paid directly by the rental car companies that operate at the airport, and that is set by the city in an amount together with CFCs that would be projected to cover any debt service and any other operating costs. It is important to note that the city has agreed to increase the rate of CFCs in the event facility rent in any year is projected to exceed $18 million. So while these are two separate revenue streams, ultimately they're both tied to car rental activity at the airport. So how did you assess the outlook there? First, BAM looked at the airport itself, then specifically to rental car activity. Interestingly, there have been two real world stress tests in recent years that helped us better understand the potential risks. First, the growth of alternative ground transportation providers like Uber and Lyft, and then the impact of the COVID pandemic. There was a significant downturn in the airport and car rental activity in the first year of the pandemic, but a very solid recovery has taken hold since. O'Hare remains one of the largest and busiest airports in the world, with 34.1 million in plane passengers in 2022. CFC collections totaled $34.3 million in 2022 and that represented 85% of pre-pandemic 2019 levels. And in the first five months of 2023, the recovery is continuing as CFC collections were up 16% over the same time period last year. So that talks about how the airport's recovering from COVID. What about the growth of Lyft, Uber, other alternatives to car rentals? Well, we've looked closely at car rental activity independent of airport traffic, and we've paid a lot of attention to how car rental trends have changed during the period of time that uh, Uber and Lyft have introduced service. Those services have had an impact, but primarily on shorter duration trips, with much more of an impact on taxi and limousine services as compared to car rental companies. And the car rental companies have also responded in various ways to maintain their businesses. The ground transportation mix overall at the airport has, was stabilizing prior to COVID, and those trends have continued. So what other credit characteristics are on the table when you were looking at this uh, transaction? Well, BAM's legal team conducted an extensive review of the bond documents to understand the airport's responsibilities to bondholders under its covenants. The core of the financial analysis was looking at the projected revenues and debt service needs over the life of the transaction. Overall, we found that gross pledge revenues are expected to generate more than twice the amount necessary to pay debt service on these bonds. Thanks for your time, Howard, and thanks for watching. If you have any credit questions about BAM's analysis of this credit, please email us at creditinsights at buildamerica.com or visit our website for a BAM credit profile has been posted. Thanks.